Hi, Laurie McNeil here. I'm going to demonstrate today the Geshwin Ultrasonic Cleaner. I've uh, always used a lye-based oven cleaner to clean my bits and Del Herbert suggested that I get a Geshwin Ultrasonic Cleaner. So this year I came home from the 2015 Ward World Championships where I demonstrated for Geshwin uh, carving a loon. So this is a uh, the box as I'm opening it. Uh, here is the user guide for the ultrasonic cleaner. And the cleaning suggestions are saying I need to fill the tank with hot water and add one to two drops of ultrasonic cleaning solution. Uh, and then you change the solution when it becomes dirty or cloudy. Uh, here is the multi-purpose ultrasonic cleaning solution. And pulling the cleaner out of the box. Some protective packaging. Ooh, very shiny. And uh, we're going to have to add our hot tap water. So we're going to cut away and add the water, and we'll be back to see how it works. Okay, I'm back with the uh, hot tap water, and I've got it in a two cup measure. There's a maximum and a minimum, and since I'm only cleaning some small bits here, I'm going to only fill the water up to the minimum setting, or minimum line. Well, just about a cup and three quarters. Now these are the bits. Well, first, we're going to do our cleaning solution. And I'm going to use a Q-tip so I could carefully measure out one drop, one to two drops, one, two, oh, there went three, I guess I will get a really good clean on this. I'm going to cap off my solution. Now these are my dirty bits, I used them for two below, uh, sometimes they've gone over deft, sealed surfaces, gesso sealed surfaces, uh, wood fill, I believe this is a really old bit. It's a ruby. These are carbide cuts alls. Carbide cuts all, another ruby. And here's another carbide cuts all. So these are going to be the first uh, bits that I'm going to use. Now, according to the instructions, I did take a look at. Um, what the suggestion was for the application and the timer settings. And then going down the list, I'm doing metal items. So it says to set it at 3 to 4, which would be the 8 to 10 minutes. So I'm going to set it at 3 and see how it works. So I'm placing the basket into the solution and everything is covered up. I'm covering the unit and I'm going to set it for eight minutes and turn it on. You can see bubbles going on inside. I'm not going to videotape the entire eight minutes. Here we are, coming up to the final seconds of the uh, countdown on our cleaning of the bits for the first time. Three, two, one. Oh, well done. Let's see what it looks like. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I am impressed. Let's swish them around a little bit. Now that's amazing. These were filthy. Look at the water in there. Can you see the water? I'm 
setting them onto my plastic plate. And do you remember that ruby? Look at that. This one's clean. These were filthy. That's just rust, but this was embedded. Well, there's a little bit here. I might come back with a wire brush, but they are far cleaner than they were when I started, and this is a fantastic uh, alternative to using oven cleaner with uh, lye in it. Certainly not as toxic. It's not toxic at all, according to the bottle. Non-toxic uh, and non-irritating to normal skin, biodegradable, inhibits rust and corrosion, and it's equally effective in hard water. So. The Geshwin Ultrasonic Cleaner is a winner. Thank you so much, Geshwin, for being my sponsor. And I uh, recommend any of you who have uh, bits to clean from power carving, uh, jewelry. It says you can clean CDs, uh, all kinds of different metal objects. And uh, be sure and read your instructions and do what you do safely. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.